545 cruise visitors graced the shores of St. Lucia on Tuesday. 410 visitors arrived on Celebrity Summit into Port Castries, and 135 visitors arrived on Star Breeze's inaugural call, which anchored in Rodney Bay. Star Breeze, a German-built cruise ship owned by Windstar Cruises, will overnight in St. Lucia and depart on the evening of July 14. Visitors to Port Castries were greeted by tourism officials, gifted with branded items and serenaded to the sweet sounds of steel pan music. Jesse Leos was on site and filed this report. A second and a third cruise vessel has visited St. Lucia since the resumption of cruise tourism on island. On Tuesday, 13th July, the Celebrity Summit birthed at Point Seraphin with 410 fully vaccinated passengers and the star breeze of Windstar Cruises anchored in Rodney Bay with 135 passengers on board. On the 29th of June when we saw the first cruise ship come through, for some of us it was emotional. And then, you know, additional calls today, celebrity cruises, and then we have Star Breeze uh, over at Rodney Bay, a total of 545 um, visitors on island. I mean, it really speaks well for the cruise sector and the progressive rebound that we're anticipating. July, we're expecting to see some more cruise calls. August is projecting very nicely, and the rest of the year is starting to project very nicely. That was Jorain George's public relations manager at the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. Celebrity Summit passengers disembarked eagerly for a day of island-wide tours and sightseeing in the capital. It's been um, a long um, 18 months for us. We were on the summit um, on the last voyage, so it was very special for us to be able to come back and cruise again on their second voyage out, and we're, we're happy to be here in St. Lucia. So What a beautiful place. We're so glad to be here. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Angela Oldenburg. I'm from Appleton, Wisconsin. Wonderful. So tell us, what does this mean to be able to vacation again? So beautiful to be able to be together with people, with family, and I think we all have a new perspective perspective on things when you are are um, have things taken away from you you appreciate so much more Absolutely. when you can get together and do it again so we're so grateful to be here Absolutely. what are your plans for today in terms of excursion we're doing the beach break okay. yeah so we're super excited and then we're hoping to come back and just walk around a little bit and see the sights because I was hoping that you're gonna walk around um, Castries the city yes. Yes. okay Wonderful. that's definitely our plan we were so excited that when we were told we would be able to do that because when we were in Barbados yesterday, you weren't allowed to go um, anywhere on your own. You could only do uh, shore excursions with um, the ship. We are going on an excursion. We're taking a coastal um, tour on a boat and going having a little beach time. So we're just glad you guys are, are open and uh, happy to be back. You mind me asking, are you fully vaccinated? Yes, uh, it was required for this ship, so yes. But I'm, I was in the education field. I was the director of special education for my school system. I just retired. So it was very important to me to get vaccinated. We all feel very safe. We've all been vaccinated. We've all been negative tested. Um, so we feel very safe and we're so grateful to be back and doing this again. Wonderful. What are your plans for today? Excursions? Um, yes, we're going out on a catamaran to see the island and yes, just experience this beautiful place. Passengers aboard the Celebrity Millennium fall well within the ship's over 2,000 capacity. Stakeholders nonetheless appreciate the business. General Manager of Foster and Inns Cruise Services in St. Lucia is Ian Herman. It's a really exciting time to see the resumption of cruises. Um, most importantly, although the ship carries about 2,100 passengers, to arrive at 400, that is sufficient for us. Because it's really the time for us to sort of observe and see what are the loopholes, what are the gaps, and of course to continue to enhance the, the experience as, as they come here. Meantime, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Donna Linvite, is appealing for patience as the sector recuperates. By no means are we creating an expectation that we will have the sort of spend that we've had before. I mean, we wouldn't be able to accelerate from zero to 100 so quick, but in doing so, we're asking for the patience of the public I mean, there will be some vendors who will not get patronized. There will be some persons who are even selling water with their water coolers on the streets that will not be patronized, some taxi drivers. But the little trickle that we get, just really understand that while you are not able to get the benefit today, that probably your neighbor or your colleague is probably getting that benefit. And so the testing period doesn't bring the immediate explosive rewards that we would like but the semblance of hope 
of what is to come is sufficient for us to keep on ensuring that we keep on the pace with the cruise lines executive so that we are able to get more um, cruise uh, arrivals on the itinerary for the rest of this year. The Celebrity Millennium will depart Port Castries by the end of Tuesday while the Star Breeze overnights in St. Lucia for departure Wednesday evening. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.